Hi friends, I'm going to tell you something about the renal colic. Renal colic, it happens due to the due to the stones in the kidney. What happens that when the stones in kidney, they usually passes with urine, with the flow of the urine. When the size of stone increases and it time comes when it get stuck in the ureter. So, in this condition, when the ureter is obstructed, it causes a condition known as post-renal azotemia. And it leads to hydronephrosis. R-O-S-I-S. So, this stone, when is, when is stuck here, what happens? The ureter tries to expel it out so it causes a spasm in the ureter which tries to force the ure uh, stone out so this spasm in ureter leads to renal pain renal colic so usually the site of renal colic is flank flank which lies from the back body to this area which lies a area between ribs and the hip so it lies here and this pain usually radiates to the groin to the groin area it radiates towards the groin or in sometimes to the genital etc so this is the main cause of the pain and renal pain is also associated with fever it also associated with painful micturation, sometime burning micturation, also associated with nausea, vomiting. Blood or pus in urine. And it is a cyclic pain. The cycle lasts from 20 to 60 minutes. So this is about the renal colic. Thanks for watching.